please don't wake me from this What's up legends, LGG Alden here. Today I'm back with episode 16 of my Game Maker Studios tutorials of top-down game development. So last time we worked on the enemy AI, so making them a little bit smarter, making it so they find the smartest path and the fastest one to come to you, but that's only if you're in a certain range of them. So if you get too far or you're not far, like you're not close enough to them, they won't sense you and you can get around them. If not, they will follow you and find the quickest way to get to you and chase you down. So this time what I want to work on, the first thing is making it so every time you pick up a weapon, it drops the one you were holding before. So if you were to, oh, say you're holding the pistol and then you pick up an assault rifle, it'll drop the pistol. Or if you're holding a shotgun and you go and pick up the laser gun, it'll drop the shotgun and give you the new weapon. So, and then the other thing I want to work on is doors. So making it so... There's an, like an object and it'll be open and close and depending on the positioning and all that. So like if you're right by it and you press a certain key, it'll open or close the door and then you can block out zombies or whatever with that. So, you know, just that should work fine. So let's see. So we need to go to the objects. So the way to do this is we need to create a script. So we're going to start this off. We'll name it SCR drop weapon and we'll do an if statement so if and I believe global dot weapon e oh wait it's p weapon equals zero is what we start with then what it's gonna do is we'll do instance underscore create and we'll do obj underscore player dot x plus 32 that should be fine. And then obj underscore player dot y plus 32. And then we need to do the object. So the obj underscore pistol because the first object or weapon is the pistol. And then we need to copy paste this. So we have six of it. So two, three, four, five, six. Change all of these up by one digit. Three, four, five. And then we need to change the names of the weapons. So this one is the SMG. This one is the sniper. This one should be the laser gun. Oh shoot, I spelled that wrong. Whoops. And then we have the assault rifle. Okay, there's that. And then the last one is the shotgun. Okay, so that should work fine. Now, it'll create it whenever you pick it up. So the thing is, though, we have to call to the code in each one. So we need to do scr underscore, and then it'll bring it up right there. So call to the code, but it has to be the first line. That's the important thing, because it'll change the weapon. And if you were to call it after it changes the weapon, it wouldn't work, because then it'd drop the weapon that you just picked up. So that's not what you want, so you got to make sure to call it before everything else is ran. That should work fine. We'll have to test it out quickly just to make sure. If it doesn't work, we have to fix something. Shouldn't have any issues with it. At least I hope we won't. Put this back. Sniper. And then do the last one, the SMG. So, and it'll be an overall thing so that it, it's easier than typing out the code we put in that script everywhere. Instead of having to put it in every single gun, and then every time we change it, having to add a new gun to each of those lists. So it's it basically just made life simple. That's all it did. Okay, so I have a pistol, and I pick up a sniper. Drops a pistol. I have a sniper, and I pick up a shotgun. Drops a sniper. Basically, it just swaps through the weapons. So, you know, I have a laser gun. Drops the laser gun. Picks up a pistol. So now it... Per Wait, what happens if I pick up two? Oh gets rid of one so yeah so now it pretty much works good so now we have it so it gets it drops the weapon and it puts it wherever like a little bit to the side of you if it was to put it right at the x and y of the player it would cause an error most likely where it would pick up or it wouldn't let you change weapons because technically you'd be dropping the weapon and re-picking it up or it could just cause an infinite weird cycle and crash the game. I don't even want to risk it, so we're just doing it the safe way in general. 
So the next thing we want to do though, like I said, is making doors. So we're going to need some um, some images for this. This can go in walls because it technically is close enough. Let's go create sprite and we'll do SPR underscore door and then we'll do vert. So vertical, so up and down. So edit sprite and then What's the size of the door though? What do we use in the room? I gotta look at this quickly. Oh wait, wrong room. We'll do the size of it to be 64 because each of these are 32. That'll be fine. Edit sprite, new. It'll have to be 64 by 32. So the height is 64. And then we'll just do like a brown color. I don't know what we'll get here. Try like a dark brown like that. That should be fine. And we could put like a little doorknob so you know what it is, kind of. Oh, that's way too small. So like that. That should be fine. So then you know it's kind of like a door, except that looks like a really weird door. It's just top-down art isn't my specialty. So we need to, oh wait, actually, X needs to be 16, Y needs to be probably zero. Depends how we place it. I think that'll be fine. We'll try that, we'll see what happens. And then we need to create another one, we'll duplicate it, we'll do SPR, door, and then whores. So edit sprite, and then this one we need to rotate. Oh, that is not going to work. How do we do this? I'm trying to think. What's the good way to... Maybe we need to do it out here. Images. Rotate. No, that's still not going to work. Transform. Images. Cycle left. Animation. I'm trying to think how we can do this without making this way too complicated. I have no idea. I think we just need to crop. No, not crop. Stretch, maybe. So then we'll do this one 64. This one 32. Okay, that looks really weird, but we're okay. I don't know if we're going to have the doorknob size exact. We're just going to try to wing it here. Let's hope for the best. It's probably not going to line up too well, but it'll look fine. Okay, so now we have the vert or the horizontal. This one needs to be 0 and 16, so it's the opposite. Yeah. Uh, that's actually kind of close on the doorknob, maybe over a little bit. It's not too important right now. You guys can do it better if you want. That's up to you. So we're going to go into the walls and we're going to make two of them. So we're going to need two different objects. We'll make the first one. So we'll do door vert. So the vertical door is going to be the one that up that's up and down. So because the way we want it, we'll have it start so that the doors are actually starting closed. And then you can open them and kind of go from there. And we need to create two because we want it to be so one closes, one's open. So it's not like we're using one door. So half the doors that are, or the doors up and down are closed and the doors sideways are open. Okay, yeah. So that, that should work fine, I think. We'll have to try it out and see. So vertical, so we need to start this off with the sprite of the vertical one. How... Okay, wait, is, what are these? Solid and the parent is object, object wall. So set the parent and make it solid. What does the parent use? The parent uses nothing, but I guess that's okay. Add event. So here's where we need to get into some code. Step event, probably. Actually, first we're gonna go into create event. And we're gonna go into control, we'll add a code. So we'll do open equal to false so we'll start off closed and then we need to do a step event and we'll do if distance to object obj underscore player 
is less than to do, do let's do 10 that might work maybe we can do 15 if it's less than 15 oh i think i need to put a second one yeah if the object if the distance to object player oh wait i need to put this on the outside like that so if the distance is less than 15 then and actually we need an and event so then we'll do and how did i do the player is there let me look at it i don't want to have to change up the way that i do code so we'll do step event okay so i set the variables here so we'll just set one we'll we'll set it up here so we'll do key interact oh, interact and we'll set that equal to e for now you can set it to whatever you want open equals to true actually we need to copy this except we need to add change this one to false but we need to do and, and oh, i should have added that first key underscore interact and open is equal to open equals equals false and then same thing key underscore interact and then this one open equals true so i think that should work but here's the thing now in the step event we can also do this we can do if open equals true image underscore index equals spr underscore door and then so if it's open and this is the vertical one it's horizontal and then we need to do the same thing but for closed so if open is false then it's door vert i think that'll actually work let's try it let's make sure that this this would work and then we can just copy it and practically just change up a little bit of code and we'll be good to go so we put a door oh do we need it to be 16 yeah probably okay hold up we need to change the snap grid to 16 for a second let's try it okay let's run it hopefully this works that we don't have to get too crazy with it okay play now it doesn't okay wait is it because i'm not close enough to it that could always be the option hey okay, guys so i had a bit of an issue with this i was looking at the code so i'm just kind of like cutting it so as you guys can see it kind of just jumped so the way that i was typing this wrong so i have the right stuff here basically the way it works is if it's pressed the key e then distance to object if it's less than 100 interact and open is false or interact and open is closed it will either switch it and it will also switch the sprite index and that's the way that it should work so i actually it does work now one thing that i do want to change about this is make them both zeros i think it makes it a little bit better actually so we're gonna we're gonna try this okay so let's look at this quickly just make sure that changing that sprite doesn't mess up anything so play oh it kind of threw it off a bit i need to move all these though that's the problem now so this can go back to 32 then that actually makes life a lot easier then you don't have to deal with offset on grid okay so that works now that we have that we can duplicate this so we're just going to create obj door and then horizontal and change the sprite to be default horizontal creates false to the open now this one we just need to change two things this needs to be vert and this needs to be horizontal so like that and that should actually work fine. So now we need to go test room and we'll actually add all these doors. So walls, so now we need the horizontal doors. Except that's that room's too big. Okay, so 
either way, it doesn't really matter. So let's try running it, making sure that it works. Play. Except there's the problem I was looking for, is that it's too big. Okay, I was worried about that. No problem, we can fix that and just make it so it moves it out of the way. Okay, um, this might actually get a little weird. Mm, actually, I think maybe we can do this in the this, and we could do it in here. The way we want to do this, though, is we want it so the X is 32. Wait, is that too big? No, we want it 32. That's fine. And this one should be 32. Oh, wait, no. Whoops, wrong one. This one should be 32. I don't even know if that's going to change anything. This might just be wasting more time trying to do something pointless. So let's see if that fixed it. That probably didn't change anything because it's probably still going to be thrown off. Oh, no, that actually did work. Okay, so yeah, no, never mind. We're good. Look at that. It kind of opens it weird and all that, but now we kind of have it. So that, that, that wasn't a waste of time, guys. It worked. So now we have kind of a bit. Oh, and you can get stuck in that, so you got to be careful. You could still open it, though, so it doesn't ruin the game or nothing. And so now we actually have it working. That's good. We have the doors... And we also have it so, you know, picking up a weapon drops the one you were currently holding. And you could still shoot it, whatever, and then pick up that one. So that actually works really good. I'm glad we actually figured that out. So that's that's perfect. So we got that and we got that. That's all we needed to do this episode. If anything went wrong, guys, comment it and I will do my best to help you guys fix anything anything that's not working or if it costs something else that isn't anything to do with this part of this episode anything just comment it and i'll help you guys so you guys are up to it and stick with the most recent tutorials anything you guys want to see though go ahead and comment it i will hopefully do it if it's possible or if it's something that we can do in this and yeah anything you guys want to see go ahead and comment that anything that goes wrong comment that too if you guys like this video, though, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe. We, got, we would really appreciate it. But thanks for watching, guys. Remember to be a legend, and I will see you guys next time.